the most powerless person is a black male. The most powerless person on the planet in the form of a person is a black male person. But you see them walking down, taking up the sidewalk, acting like they can whip everybody. Sure, they can whip somebody who looks just like them. Because that's permitted. Permitted by whom? The white supremacists. They don't care. Kill everybody in the neighborhood. So what? There's another black neighborhood gone. There's another one down the street, ready to go. What's the big deal? You better be careful about whose face you get into when you get carried away with what you can do to other black people. And what's pitiful about it is most of us know that. Very few of us who don't know that. We know whose face to get into. And we know just about how much backing we have. black person in handcuffs, all kinds of tattoos, all kinds of long records of being able to whip everybody since ninth grade, standing there in handcuffs in an orange jumpsuit, in his best hairdo, saying, yes, your honor. Why don't you use the kind of language toward your honor that you use with the people that you encounter right there in your neighborhood? The one that you say that you're a master over. The one that you can terrorize. All the females blocking to you and halfway scared of you. Knock them around all over the place. Call them all kind of names. Why don't you call your honor that same name? Snatch him from behind the bench. No, no. See, we're great show people. Greatest show people on earth. Three nine millimeters, one in your sock, one in your waistband, one in your side pocket. Ready to take on the entire world in a movie, in a homemade video, or passing a bus stop full of black people fixing to go to work, or you can terrorize them. Why don't you take on the champ, which usually is just one or two white supremacists who just come and say, now, I think you'd better behave because you're disturbing my peace. Now, if you don't think I can handle you, try me. And I haven't been on this planet forever. And I've never seen a situation on a large scale, or never heard of one on a large scale, of any significance throughout the history of the black male, because that's who I'm talking about, who didn't chicken out. In a moment of real crisis, so I don't want to hear it. In this stalwart Black History Month, about that all-powerful black male, as I've seen our record, particularly in the last, I'll say, just in this area of the world, 60 years. Now we've had a few who did things the way that they ought to be done. They protested in the street, they carried signs. They talked about non-justice, Martin Luther King, people like that, Andy Lou Hamer, Hamer uh, as a black female, uh, backing up black males who uh, got out there and tried to do something that made sense rather than just terrorize the neighbors. And uh, that's doing what we're supposed to do. 
from the weak position that we have. Only time we show all this bravery is when we are mistreating other victims of racism. For the most part, some exceptions, some exceptions, Nelson Mandela, exception, Martin Luther King, exception, Malcolm X, exception, a substantial list, but well spaced, well spaced, all those black males in between, usually the ones who are doing hard time. If you look at what they are charged with, most of it is mistreating. Whether they're guilty or not, but most of it is for mistreatment. Those are prisoners of war. The most powerless person is a black male. The most powerless person on the planet in the form of a person is a black